Hunter. When Mickey, Don, and Goofy decide to head out to the woods to hunt, hunt for some moose, Mickey, sp Mickey spots a red moose and try to woo him with use of the bush, bush disguise. And, and Don and Goofy, who fights enough to disappear, Mickey Bay, you try to try to woo the, a black moose with, with a female moose disguise. However, when, when Mickey's cover is if cover is blown <laughs> when it when his disguise get get eaten, and and while Don and Goofy's disguise get blown. Gets blown after with the two bulls try to fight for the females on it. They they find out the fe that the whole female boost was up was all trick. <laughs> after the boost after the boost try 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 to call truce after, after what happened earlier. They it looks like it's, it looks like Mickey Donald and Goober are in are in, in for some trouble as they about to get killed by by the boost. It does end the episode. Seeing that Mickey and Goopy are nowhere—I mean, seeing that Don and Goopy are nowhere to be seen this game—it looks like everything's being told from the side of Mickey's perspective. But that's it. Welcome to part two, of Mickey Mayor. The time is a bit for me, Mickey Mouse. So this episode's done as glitch the episode because for some reason doing this level and this level only the the, the first side to get side to get glitched up, and I didn't notice this until after the game was recorded. So and seeing that this was the last minute thing, of like, sorry you have to see this because <laughs> I would. We did this if I was saw it in the first place, people. <laughs> anyway, Moose Hunt is actually divided into two, two parts. First, a 2D session, and the next part is going to be an interesting session, but I won't say nothing about. In the 2D session, you got a boy the falling brushes in the foreign, foreign rocks, and also the moose. There's always a hint to when one each is going to fall. When brush is about to fall, you about you. You can actually see the branch at the top at the top of the screen, and when it comes to the walls anywhere you're near a K, that's when the walk's about to fall. And Pooh will always point out when a, a, a moose is coming. But after, but after that quick one minute session, it's time for the second part of, of Moose Hunters. Look at that, Sega Genesis is able to pull off 3D! Ugh, too distinct, but, but, but come on, this was impressive for a Sega Genesis game, and they're saying a hell of a while seeing that the Super the, Super Nintendo is actually, should be more capable of pulling off fancy shit than the Sega Genesis. And surprisingly enough, this session actually look, actually looks worse in the Super Nintendo version. And if you got the time, go look up go look up this level on the SES version, and you to see to really see what I mean. Anyway, when it comes when it comes to this session. You got one way. You got one way from the moose. If you trip over a rock, you'll slow down. If you, every time you walk in water, you slow down. You gotta grab these apples to, to restore Mickey's stamina. I think we have the stamina food from Skyward Sword. And if you don't eat an apple in a while, Mickey will slow down like this, and the moose will start will start to catch up. And if you don't, and you let the moose catch up to you, it's an insta kill. Fucking means anything anyway, because you, because you actually don't take damage to this. In this stage, or at least this, this session. But after you escape the boots, that ends the short swim of the entire game, for bit, folks. This is the this is the whole screen from the PlayStation version of Mickey Ma Mickey Mania. The same Mickey, the same Mickey animation actually will also be used in the SES version of Mickey Mania. But in the case of this game, they, you have a little music versus too. Yeah, so I put in the PlayStation version of this part because the footage got messed up during this part. While still up to the debate where this episode was a helping inspiration for Ghostbusters or just, as, or just another normal episode. The Dis for Disney episodes, this uh, this episode did we people with one of the one of the more famous quotes that made even more famous thanks to the thanks to the Ghostbusters series thanks to the good old Goofy. Anyway, when it comes to part of this episode, four ghosts bored with having nothing, n nobody to scare, decided to decide to look into a phone book to call some ghost exterminators to mess mess around with. 
and, and who would be, would be these ghost exterminators? It looks like it'll be the old, the old Mickey, Donald, and Goopy. These three know how to get, get themselves into trouble. When they when they arrive to exterminate the ghosts, they 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 are only just they are only sub they're just sub subjects to the ghost's various points and tricks. After they find out that they're all nothing but the ghost's point, point things, it, this idea of the ghost is trying to trick, tri trying to scare them, and we end up biting them in the ass at, when the heroes ask them, if, ask them, <laughs> ask them, finds them off with after falling into a mixture of flour and the morsel to make them look like even more terrifying ghosts to the to the to the ones of ghosts. May, may this be a lesson, kid. N never try to prank anybody. Anyway, welcome to Lonesome Ghost. I like, I like the episode where we, we teach the ghosts a lesson. We're actually trying to run away from the ghosts. <laughs> and this wild out the dark, the hardest way of the entire game for me, folks. <laughs> if you know, if you know, I duck, duck everyone through the first session because you have to, you actually have to pull up a pistol perfect jump to get the get the extra life in the in the health. The help are represented by stars that you, you haven't recognized it, recognized yet. And me, being, being like a dumbass, that's you missed the health. Uh -oh. And thus, I was on my last life. <laughs> this is where the mayhem really begins. Anyway, meet the ghost is my least favorite enemy in the entire game. Why? You can't kill these fuckers. <laughs> so fools do you know that ghosts cannot die? So, ghosts is pretty much wrapping all your attacks. <laughs> so the best thing you could do is just avoid them. So this is where excellent platforming and good jumping ability come to play. Anytime you walk on these stairs, they will turn to turn to a slide where where Mika will slide down the second it turns into a slide. And when it comes to these seesaw sessions, if you let, if you let them tilt over too far, Mika will automatically fall off for some reason. It doesn't matter where he's at, it'll, it'll just fall off if you if you're on a while down while one of the sides is tilted all the way. And I am and I need to get this jump right. Come on, come on, pass me. So you could do it. You could, you could do it. By the way, the search life right there. And I accidentally missed it. <laughs> Why did I miss that extra life? I, that, I think that's probably gonna bite myself in the ass. The way I want to lay apart. I guess we'll have to wait, wait and see. Meanwhile, we have the probably what's the only, only one of the only returning enemies in the entire game, the bats from. The mad doctor stage, and what the hell hit me with right there? It, yeah, it knows already. When it comes to the, this part of Lonesome Ghost stage, they decided to make it more on the say on the creepier side when it comes to how the stage look. As you look through everything, as they make it everything look like everything is dark, and the only thing you can see is yourself, which actually works out for the, for the bear actually. It adds more to the creepy feel to this to this game, and this at this stage this stage show is also another reason why I decided to do this on the week of Halloween. What's what's more scarier than than ghosts? Get out, Joe Fuck it. From this session on, I'm trying to get some Toy Story flashback. Well, the video game Toy Story flashback, just from looking at it. Anyway, there's a right right. When it comes to this session, you gotta start walking at the right time so you don't, so your boy getting hit. I failed to do that, so and, and now we have a, a, a session of the stage that's real fucking finicky. Cause watch what happens. I was right on the barrel, and the, and the game was just like, nah, you you you, you, you wasn't, <laughs> and that's where that. And that's where this game's taste box comes to play. Anyway, this is a little tip when it comes to the barrel when it's about to sink. When the barrel's on the ground, don't do not move. Because if you try to move, you will fall off the barrel. And for some reason, Mickey can't swim in this game. <laughs> Which is weird because he can swim in a 
we seen him swim in the other episodes of the, of the game. I mean, other cartoon series. By the way, if I ever point this out right now, the, the rock is set for your checkpoints. When Cussy said checkpoints, you you reset from wherever you die is instead of reset from the beginning of that area. Oh yeah, by the, by the way, the reason I bought the game is, is the fact what, whilst test running this game, you you will be surprised how much I, I tried doing that to jump over the ghost, <laughs> and I still get hit by it because the ghosts have a real disjointed hitbox. So the reason I paused the game right there is because I, I, I was racing to myself, what? Why d did I not get hit right there <laughs> at all times? I think this is the recording curse trying to play with my mind. Here you go. Know, God damn it, it's working. And you will not believe how nervous I am right now. <laughs> I'm on, on my last flight, and if I take one more hit, I'm, d I'm dead. You know, I should go, really go on and know how, how, good to keep, how everything works out. There's a continuous system in this game, thank God. Mickey Mania is... They, it's fortunately not one of those games where if you lose all your eyes, it's game over, back to, back to the tile screen. I think on normal difficulty, you start out with either one or two continues. I know for a fact on hard mode you start from one continue and, and for easy you have three. Yeah, but yeah, when it comes to, when it comes to the continue system in this game, if you, if you run out... When you run out of life, you gotta go back to the beginning of the, of the stage instead, instead of the area. You know, it's not a big deal when it comes to this station, because this level is not actually not that damn long, but when it comes to uh, the last station of the game, that is a bitch. Anyway, that's the end of the heart. Well, I consider the hard station of the game. <laughs> I only consider it hard because of the, because of the ghost. That's it. That's all. Some of you guys may have an easier time with this stage, but, but me, I, you should have a hard time. And behold, that's full screen for the Sega CD version. Some of y'all probably wonder why they decided to put the voice audio or the some of your the episode right here. Let me show you why. <laughs> I said I decided to kill myself because this what we about to, we're about to, we're actually about to enter my favorite favorite level of the game starting this part <laughs> and beginning the B stop. He said and I decided to myself, you know, I rarely die on this stage, so maybe let, let me just go ahead and commit suicide so I can get get my eyes back. <laughs> so this time we beat up. We, we're gonna be entering, believe it or not, what's We're gonna be entering the stage that doesn't re represent Halloween <laughs> at all. <laughs> See that we already did two levels that represented the most. And big and big gear to be suck. And seeing that this episode's only ten minutes long, we'll be trying to make this a little bit longer. You know, it, it only feels right if I pretty much spoil what we're gonna be doing for the for the rest of this year. Due to the fact we had the whole month my hiatus. <laughs> when cuss a bit but they it's a Friday right now after we at the Greek at the Mickey Man is done. But rare, it's the two for one fall. We gotta do another Mickey Mouse game. And I decided to do one that's on the SNES. Some of some of you guys I'll just re re that. And then after the two for one for Mickey's so over we're finally going to going to the world of Zelda, finally. And then after Zelda, it should be almost the end of the year. And that's where it's and that's where our Sonic 2 playthrough will come to play. And what about the Tuesday, Thursday lineup? After after Zero after Z Gravity's done done it all with it, we're fun, we're going to explore to the world world of Metroid. But after we get done exploring to the world of Metroid, it'll be, by, by the time we by the time everything's done over with, but, hey, well the Master Chief question should be up by by that point, and we're. And that's where we do our playthrough of Halo 1. And, and that should handle all our recording for the weekdays until for the rest of this year. And when it comes to what we do on, sat on Saturdays for... Well, you'll find that out on the final part of Project M this, this coming Saturday. 
Or make that Sunday is, believe it or not, the finale is actually a two-parter. With that being said, to see you, see you on Halloween for part three of Mickey Band.